Okay, so what we're going to look at now is um, how we can get away from using the standard, um, you know, mannequin Unreal Engine character um, and import some of our own. So there's a really um, interesting website called Mixamo, should we say? It's run by Adobe, um, so it's all good. But what it's got, you'll have to actually sign in first. I've signed in already. Um, but it's free to create an account and everything. You don't need like a, an Adobe Creative Cloud package or anything like that. Um, so just create an account, get logged in, and you've got two different options, characters and animations. All right, so if we go to browse characters, um, here's what I've been using recently, um, which I'll use to show you how this all works. But essentially you've got, you know, tons and tons of different characters um that you can use for prototyping there's three pages which is more than enough really um so you essentially just go in and you just choose the character you want to use yeah we're going to use this guy okay um but essentially it doesn't really matter which one you choose um then we can go over here to animations and as you can see there's tons and tons and tons of different animations some of them you can see their previews with the actual character. Um, those ones, I guess, are kind of more designed specifically with that character in mind. Um, and then you've got these ones on the kind of dummies that are, you know, universal, can really be with anything. But technically, even if um, there was an animation on one of the other characters that you wanted to use on a different character, you know, it's, it still works. It just, you know, might not suit the character or something. Um, like we can click this one and this guy is going to be doing the zombie animation but because his arms are so large it, it doesn't really work so well um, so just consider that in mind so you've got characters and you've got animations so the first thing you want to do is to select your character um, and then you want to look at your animations so um, there's other things you can do actually before I move on you can upload your own character to this that you've created in um, whatever, 3ds Max, something like that, um, and it will automatically rig your character, all right? Just bear in mind your character does need to be, you know, like a humanoid biped character, you know, two arms, two legs, one head, um, otherwise it wouldn't work, okay? But you can bring in your own character, which is really powerful, um, and it will, you can use these animations on your own character. Uh, which saves a lot of time. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do, first thing first, choose a character and we're going to go for um, an idle animation. So you can search up here for idle and you get a whole bunch of different ones. Okay, so you get this kind of fidgeting one. Um, and there's obviously tons and tons. But because our character, this guy here is called a mutant, we can type in his name and you get all the specific animations for that character okay um, so there's a couple of idle ones I think if I remember yeah there's this one where after a while he kind of does a little stretch um, but that can actually cause some problems so we're just going to go for this breathing one where he's just kind of standing idle like this okay once you've got that what we do is hit download and then you get some options so you want to keep it as fbx um, unless you're specifically doing something for unity we're going to be using unreal so we're just keeping with this fbx um, frames per second is fine 30 um, in fact before i do that let me just cancel i wanted to just also show you that there are some tweaks that you can do down here um, like character arm space, if you want his arms wider or more together for some reason, <laughs> looks a bit weird, then you could. But so you can tweak stuff like that. Overdrive is just like the generally to do with like the speed. So if he's maybe you wanted him breathing heavier, you might want to turn that up. Or lower it down if you want him real slow, but I keep it in the middle. Um and you can trim animations as well. So if you just wanted a section of an animation, you can trim the frames to what you want it to be. Um, so anyway, yeah, you can tweak things there. Then when you're ready, hit download. 
So we've been through those two. So then we've got skin up here. So um, the skin essentially is going to be the mesh of the character. So the first time you download something, you're going to want to do with skin because you need to bring the character in with it. Okay. But then after that, as I'll show you, we don't need skin. Um, and we don't need to do anything with keyframe reduction. So that's fine. So just hit download. Um, and that will download. The first one will probably take a little longer because it's got to download um, the, the mesh and all the materials and everything that go with it, um, as well as the animation. Okay. So you can do stuff though whilst it's downloading, obviously. So that's downloading. What we're going to do is we're going to find our walk animation. Okay. So you go, you can spin around in here in the viewport. Um, and we can see a, a walking animation. This looks really cool. Um, that's the walk that we want to go for. But the problem is he's moving from one place to another. Okay, so for using him for our character, we can't really have that because as soon as you start moving, um, if you imagine, it's going to start playing the animation, but it's also going to be moving the characters, the object of the character. So um, we're going to get this jumping back effect happening in the game, which we don't want with our character. Um, if it was like an NPC or something, um, he has no inputs, so you might want him to just keep on walking and walking on his own. Um, but before, because it's our player character, we need him to be in place. So you just tick in place. Um, and we'll just be kind of walking on the spot. Um, but then when we put our inputs into the game engine, um, it'll make him move along. Okay, um, again, you can tweak some stuff here, um, but I'm happy with it how it is. So again, this time I'm going to hit download, but this time I've already got the skin for my character. I haven't imported it yet, but I've downloaded it with my idle animation. So this time I just want without skin. Okay, and that's literally just going to download the animation. Okay, so we hit download on that one. Okay, um, what else do we want? So we've got walking, we want running. So there's a running one. Again, we need that in place. Okay, simple, hit download without skin. Okay. Um, and the other one is jumping. Now jumping is a little bit different. Now we've got, here you go, well that one, we won't use that one for now. Um, where's the one with the full animation? Here we go. So we've got this jump animation here, um, where it seems fine. And again, for an NPC, that would be fine if you wanted him just jumping. Um, but for our character, it's not going to work because, um, well, I guess imagine you were walking along and you were jumping or you were jumping down or something really high and you played that jump animation. If he was all the way up here, before he gets to the floor, he's already going to put his legs down and it would probably start looping the animation as he's falling down. Okay, so this animation wouldn't work. Um, you need three different animations uh, for jumping, uh, which is why we've got this one here, which is the, the first part of the three animations. So you've got jumping up, and you also need falling down. So when he when he actually like lands on his feet, that bit, um, and you need the bit where he's sort of in the air. All right. Now with this guy, it's really annoying actually because you know, they've included the jumping up animation, which is fine. Um, but there's no jumping down animation, <laughs> annoyingly. Um, so you could, you could, you know, you could trim this um, to maybe like there to get the jumping down bit. Um, but then there's no jumping sort of um, mid-air animation. Um, and it's actually really not that easy to, to make it out of this because um, you end up just having like two frames of animation and yeah, it just doesn't work. Um, what was that? So <laughs> for this character, we need to find 
three different jumping animations um, that will just add on to, the, to this character that might be made for like the dummy or something like that. But um, yeah, essentially you need a jumping up animation, a kind of idle in the air animation, and a falling down animation. Okay, so if, if you look at the mannequin character in Unreal, you jump off the edge of something and he's like falling for ages. Um, you know, he's kind of got that looping falling animation. That's the kind of mid one, All right? Um, so it takes a while to get to, to find those. So um, I'll download those, but I'll leave you to find those animations. So you're jumping up, jumping down, and sort of jumping idle, kind of mid-air. Okay. Um, yeah, just as a heads up, just to save you some time, um, it's it's there aren't many um, falling sort of idle animations in Mixamo. It's actually been painfully difficult to find one. Um, so you know you could go about making your own, which would be a bit of a pain. Um, but the only one I've been able to find is in this one here. It's called Action Adventure Pack. I think you just saw it playing there. Um, it, that actually has it's a pack of 22 different animations, but within it is a falling idle animation. You just saw it playing again there. Um, so, you know, that seems to be the only one that I can find to use. Okay, so you can download the 22 animations, but um, just take out the falling idle animation. Okay, so I'm just going to jump over to um, Unreal Engine and we can look at importing those. Okay, just to share with you the animations that I've got. So um, we found the one called Falling Idle. We got Jumping Down and we got Jumping Up. Okay, so there are three looping jumping animations. We've got Idle, we've got Running, and we've got Walking. Okay, so I've got a third person um, blueprint template for Unreal. Um, just go to the main content folder and I'm just going to um, make a new folder. For this character, it's called a mutant, and I'm going to import. Um, and what we're going to do is, uh, where are we? Just need to find them. Okay, found them. So, um, yeah, the first one, if you remember, was the uh, breathing idle one, and that one. You can see the file size of that is way bigger because that is the one that also stores the mesh and the um, textures and things. If I can open that um, and you'll get some import options. Um, we don't have the skeleton yet or anything for it. Um, we want the animations as well, so we're going to import animations. I think that's pretty much the only thing we need to change. And hit import all. Okay, so we'll just take a second to import things. 99.9% um, .9 of the time you import something, you get some kind of um, error log about smoothing groups. The character doesn't have smoothing groups, it doesn't matter. Okay, and then you've got all these bits and pieces here. So, um, the one with the purple line is the skeletal mesh for the character. The one with the green lines are animations. For some reason there's two of them. We'll look at that in a second. You've got the kind of orangey line is the physics. Um, and then you've got the actual skeleton there, and then you've got textures. So, I've got two animations here. Um, yeah, if you get one that has the word take in it, like take 001, just uh, delete that. Okay, and I'm just going to make a new folder called animations, and I'm going to move that one into there. So the green one was the animation. So in here I just have all my animations. Okay, and what you can do is just go ahead and import. We'll do walking for now as an example. So hit open. Um, and then when you've done that, you, now we have a skeleton, which we know is this mutant breeding, breathing idol. You can rename that if you want. Um, and then import all, and then you've got the animation. So do that with all of your animations, so you have them all in there. Okay, boom. So once you've got all of those animations in there, um, you're good to move on. Um, obviously, if you want to just check the rights, double click on them, um, and the animation will run. Okay, but we're good to move on.